All right, guys, Mikey here from the Electric Scooter Guy. And guys, we're going to do a quick video today on the follow-up video that I did the other day on the Cobble Wolf Warrior. And you remember when I told you guys that you should change all the screws on your Cabo electric scooter, no matter if it's a Cabo Wolf X, Wolf Warrior, Wolf King GT Pro, it doesn't matter. You have to change all the screws to stainless steel. And the reason why I'm making these videos is because I don't want you guys to go through the same shit that I had to go through, okay? Because what happened was with me, if you guys are new to my channel or whatever, and if you guys aren't new to my channel then you know there's three allen key screws under here i don't know if you can if you can see them but uh there's three on the back and four in the middle and then there's three in the front so what happened was two of them in the front sheared off and then two of the ones in the middle sheared off and i didn't know that for like a month so i was riding with sheared off screws and what happened was when I would push the scooter forward a little bit I don't know it was like this part right here was moving just a hair and then when I would go over bumps you would hear like a cracking noise so I said this isn't right and I said this this is not good so I bring it back to fluid free ride and after about a half an hour of them diagnosing it because they didn't know what the hell was wrong with it and what was making that cracking noise, they ended up figuring out that two of these screws under here were sheared and then two of the screws in the middle over here were sheared. The three on the back weren't sheared. But by the both the screws being sheared off, what happened was it made the frame start moving. So guess what? They had to put a whole new frame on my scooter. A whole new frame just because the bolt sheared off. And that's why I'm making these videos because I don't want you guys to go through the same bullshit that I went through. Then this screw right... No, 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 sorry. This screw right here sheared off on me as well. So I had to have uh, my friend drill it out. And it's a pain in the ass. So, I want to show you guys all the screws that need to be changed on your Cobble Wolf Warrior. Or King GT or Wolf X, whatever. You got to change all three screws under here. All four screws in the middle. All three screws back there. Then you got to change these screws right here holding the caliper in. Because these will shear off on you. These bolts usually shear off first. These and these three under here. Then you got to get the two stainless steel bolts that hold on the caliper right here as well. Then you got to get all stainless steel screws for the, uh, the double stems. As you can see, I got all stainless steel screws for the double stems because these will uh, shear off on you for sure. You know how many forums I've been on on Facebook, Instagram, where people say that they've had the same problems bolts and shit shearing off underneath the deck oh i'm sorry guys i got allergies so if i'm sniffing away over here it's because of my allergies but um a lot of people were having problems over here too with bolts shearing off so if i was used i would change all those screws that i just told you guys to change okay then take this stupid well this is coming out tomorrow this stupid thing right here Get a 3 8 eye bolt, stick it through, and get a wing nut for the back. And if you do that, this, when you're going over bumps, even though it's solid, don't get me wrong, but when you're going over bumps, especially big bumps, this will be tighter. You know what I mean? Even though it's tight, it'll be even tighter. Because look at this. Look at this. I mean, that's horrible. And then these things have a tendency of breaking. So get a 3 8 eye bolt with a wing nut. And if you can, change this screw too, this bolt right here. This bolt goes from here all the way underneath here. And if you could get a stainless steel one put in there, you'll be good. But I couldn't find a stainless steel bolt to put through there. Then, I had to bring it back to Fluid Free Ride a month ago because you see this screw right here? It's a screw and then a bolt that goes straight through the suspension, okay, to right here. And this side, this part right here, this black part with the Allen key um, hole, 
sheared off. I, I mean, I just can't understand how you put a cheap-ass bolt through the suspension that holds the suspension, and I could have killed myself. So anyway, they changed, they left this part, this Allen key part, but they changed the bolt that goes through the stainless steel. I mean, guys, this is crazy. This is a $3,000 scooter, and if you got the GT Pro, it's a uh, $3,600 scooter. They should make it with all stainless steel screws. Like, look, guys, check out my Cobb, uh, my Dualtron. Look, my Dualtron comes with really, really nice stainless steel screws everywhere. Stainless steel, stainless steel, stainless steel. I mean, look at this, guys. Also, I have to change these, too. This is another Allen key screw you guys need to change. Look how cheap that is. Are you kidding me? But if you look at the Dualtron, it's all stainless steel. But I digress. So guys, if you change all those screws, change this to a 3 8 eye bolt, you should be good. Because I don't want you guys having problems like I had. Oh, and also too, I changed these bolts, the screws up here as well. Because, you know, when you're riding hard and pulling back and forth on the handlebars, I don't want any of these to uh, shear off neither. So I changed these as well. So I'm all ready and good to go. And as you can see, I got black electrical tape holding this stupid, well, no, this is a really good cell phone holder, but holding the cell phone holder on because um, the, the screw is all the way tight, but I forgot to use another piece of rubber inside there, and now I can't loosen it because it's stripped. So I got to deal with this shit now. But anyways, guys, just wanted to make a quick video, and I just hope you guys take my advice and change all the screws and bolts to stainless steel. And like I said, you should be good. And I got to get my... Uh, See, these are wearing down. I got to get my no-flat tires put on. I got those at the house. My no-flat tires are probably going to be awesome. See my BMW, guys? Look at this thing. I haven't drove this thing in weeks. This thing has been sitting for weeks. <laughs> but gas is $6 a gallon here in New York City, so I'd much rather ride this bad boy. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a quick one. But anyways, Mikey from the Electric Scooter Guy. Peace out.